This is the water flow coming out of uh, my grow bed before the modification. Uh, the siphon wouldn't start. So I'm showing you this to show you um, the siphon, first of all, not starting, as well as how much water I have flowing into the grow bed. As you can see, it's not a huge amount of water, but it's not exactly a trickle. And with that amount of water, it still won't start the siphon. I've even increased it from there and couldn't get it to start. So there's, there's the flow there, the full flow. Um, and the siphon, just it just won't start. This is the start with the coil of wire and the fan pipe. Oh, that for fast. Okay, now here's the uh, here's the big secret. You can see it down in there. You're probably thinking, what the heck is that? So, I'll pull it out and show you. This is actually a one inch binding spiral that I got from Office Depot. It was $2.99, this is half of one. And all that does is it causes the water to swirl down the pipe, closes it rapidly, um, seals off the pipe rapidly rather, and then your siphon starts amazingly fast. And it doesn't really reduce the inside diameter of the pipe. I guess technically it does a tiny bit, but it's still, but it's a spiral as opposed to reducing the inside diameter by putting another pipe in there or tubes or anything like that. So it drains incredibly fast because actually maybe even faster, I haven't timed it yet, but because the water is actually swirling down the, the pipe, it just drains really fast, faster than I was getting before. Um, and I know that only because my siphons break very fast. So here is the one inch spline. That's how it comes like that. So depending on the size of your standpipe, I pushed it all the way down to where the elbow is at the bottom. So it goes all the way down to the elbow underneath the grow bed. So I basically cut it in half and then I just kept pulling it gently until it would stay in a configuration about like that. And the reason I get, the way I got this inspiration is during a bout of insomnia, I was thinking about this. I know it's kind of uh, pathetic, but that's what I do. Um, and I had the idea of um, sort of like rifling in a barrel, how that spins a bullet. And on, on Mythbusters one time, they showed how swirling water drains faster. So I had the idea if you could make the water swirl or help the water swirl, because it, it will naturally swirl anyway due to the force of the earth, but uh, if you could help it swirl faster, I believed it would work better. So what I did originally is I took a piece of um, 10 gauge wire and I wrapped it around a half inch pipe. So that made it about the right size to fit inside my one inch stand pipe. And originally I had squished it together like that. And it, was, it didn't work as well. So it still worked, but not quite as well. So I, I started experimenting by stretching it out. And then I just arbitrarily found that the windings spread apart about like that worked the best. And originally, before I even tried the wire to test it, I happened to have a spring. This is a metal spring that fit right inside my one inch standpipe perfectly. I'm like, well, that was just lucky. So I dropped that down in there and it went, at first it was like near the top and I held it up near the top and it didn't work as well. And then I dropped it and let it go all the way down to the bottom. I had a piece of string on it so I could pull it back out. And at the bottom it worked really well. So I'm like, okay, well, that's what it, that would work. And that's how I kind of knew that the windings need to be spread apart a little bit because this spring was like that. So I spread it out like that and then I spread it out even further and it worked even better. And then I made it longer so it would cover the entire pipe now, of course, you don't want to use metal, and this is a copper wire, so you don't want to use copper um, in your aquaponics system. Uh, so we ne I needed plastic. <clears throat> so I was trying to find a plastic spring that would be inexpensive, and so this was, this was the solution. Office Depot, uh, one inch spiral binding. 
$2.99 a piece. This is the start with the coil of wire in the fan pipe. Oh, that's a fast. 